And that's just that. You call us, something happened, we will pull up. Like, not with guns, maybe with lawyers, but... This nigga said, well, not with guns, maybe with lawyers. Well, I don't need you pulling up with nobody fucking lawyer. Need you to pull up with the whole nine yards. You stupid. Shit. Bring the bazooka. What do you mean? Bring the BB gun. I don't give a damn. What's your brain? gassing the nigga out. I'm about to put his mama out on the street. I'm about to sue this nigga for everything he I'm got. Saying, you, well, you get the ceiling, and I'm about to start shooting motherfuckers' houses over here. Come on. I got the tukas now. I got the, I got the tukas now. Put it on. Press play. Oh shit, we're on. Yeah, press play. She then got six hundred dollars worked out of me. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You fucking stupid. No, cause you gonna eventually get that ring out of her. So it's like, it's a, it's a give and a take. Every fucking Christmas. Christmas happy. You mean happy yeah. holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. It's more public it's more politically correct. I wanna get a hotel and have Christmas theme songs and holiday. be a Christmas spirit. Holiday and cook. Spirit. And be a holiday. And holiday <laughs> spirit. <laughs> I'm you know, fucking with nerves. you. I'm fucking with you. Holiday um, spirit and be in fuzzy clothes. Well like Fuck, it's some eggnog and shit. I always wanted the pajamas if the butt come out on. Okay, though. Bro, them. you ain't never wanted a pair Yo, of? I want my girlfriend to have those. No, y'all get see, matching wanna, like, ones. See, I want to get, like, a room. No, or, see, if like, I get it, I want the front flap. Okay, anyways. You can just turn it backwards, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Can no, but. Listen? Yeah. So, <laughs> I wanted to get a hotel or Airbnb and have Christmas out of Airbnb. And just have fun and be in the Christmas spirit. I'm off that whole weekend. Kind of, so. I'm saying I'm off in that weekend, so we can leave Friday and not come back till like it's literally like, no, Christmas I'm poor, Day. So I'm poor right now. Um, I said it's a poor. Which is exactly. Wow. Well, uh, I'm not. My personal, my personal opinion is, my everybody gonna be doing something for Christmas, like and with them, my family. So I'm gonna be like low key by myself uh, for Christmas. So, my mama. But you're not gonna be by yourself. Well, I'm saying for I said family. I know. Twice. Technically, I am. My mom and my dad and my sister. My sister is going to California and venture. No, but for, you have us now. For, yeah. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Well, I'm I'm never. We typically don't do anything. Yeah. Like, my family only really do it for my little sister, so I kind of. We're literally it. all together as a group like this because we're all kind of alike in a lot of ways, like. Yeah, for so for Christmas. Well, usually for Christmas, I used to be with my little sister and my nieces and nephews for Christmas. Like I said, they go to California Adventure. My last little make believe Christmas and me ever getting this anything make and believe, shit boy. was when we was a family. And that was when she was with Jasmine's daddy. And, and I had he my tried to do and it. sisters in here. He tried to do it for like a couple years after, but even then, it started getting weird. I don't know. I just want to be happy and be in a joyful, joy spirit on Christmas. You just say you just want to be proud. Yeah, pretty fucking much. You make that like mom. But yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. If I get rich before Christmas, then we'll be out of Airbnb. Until then, we chilling. Never passed it to me. I never passed. it. You just but, been hitting it. Seriously? Oh, I thought I Vontae hit it. I thought I passed it to you. So you passed it back to me? I thought Vontae hit it this whole, I thought it was going like this. Wow. It be like that sometimes, bro. How many times bro? did it come back to me? I don't fucking know. I thought this whole Holy time Vontae shit. didn't hit the fucking blunt. Did you hit it once? Nope. Oh, damn. It be like that sometimes. It's cool. Holy shit. I was saying nothing. I just be chilling. I was supposed to roll this. <laughs> That's why I got caught in this shit. I just let y'all be doing your thing, you know. What you guys doing for Christmas? Nothing. Yeah, we already do. We wasn't doing shit. I don't do nothing for Christmas. It's nothing. I might go to like my cousin's house, but I doubt that. See, that's why I want my own family. That means I want my own goddamn kids so I can celebrate Christmas with my own damn kids. There we go. Well. My own family. My own family. Starting. Nope, I'm gonna adopt some kids from foster care. You just want the check. No, the fuck I don't. 
Let me get a check back to charity. I don't give a damn about they check. They ain't got to pay me. Then get a check to charity. I didn't say that now. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so you I'm not about to fucking play with you You gotta I'm call that shit out you know, I'm not doing it because I know how I feel to be in foster care So I know too I, 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 like, Out of that check I'll literally give them like half of it <laughs> Charity? No not charity I'll give my kid half of it Yeah Yeah that seemed reasonable. Yeah. Why wouldn't I not? Well, it depends on how. Some parents would be like, no, I'm going to just spend it on them and that stay half. Like, no, I just cash them out. I want to get the babies from from when they're first growing. Because I'm not like. Like, once the parent pushed them out in DCF, they have to be. When my child's over his 13. That's that's what I want. want I'll get a nigga like 200. I don't want no baby that's already basically seen all the trauma. That's fucked up. Ain't you supposed to want one that done seen all the trauma? No, why would I put the baby through the trauma? You would be the savior you want, parent. Right? Yeah. I'm saying I want to get a baby from, like, out the mom's womb so I'm able to raise it. Like, you know, most kids is in, that's in the foster care system is already being raised that don't, that either they being raised or they going from home to home. What is this song? She's going to That's what I mean. Like, if it was my own child? She only home. want to get the baby from and the lady that's just about to give birth to it. Yes, I can't keep her child. Oh, okay. It's that by then having a child that's already five or six years old that didn't been to whoever house and already stuck in their mindset of cussing or doing this or however their mindset and already be because of where they came from. And I was guilt tripping her like, you should want to help that kid, right? Like, the one that is kind of fucked up. You're supposed to be the good parent that well, comes in and, and like, I'm going to be your mama. No, you can be a good parent and say you're going to be your mama. You can say you're going to do all this. That don't mean that that child going to turn out the way that you want it to turn out. Facts. Child could just be real fucked up at that point. That is true. Exactly. Child could just be gone. You don't know if the child was on drugs. Even with a new boy, you don't know if the child was on drugs or not, but you still have a chance to be able to help that baby before you have a chance to help a five or six year old. That's already stuck in a mindset or already seen somebody get half five drugs. You don't know what that child is seeing. To an extent, though, I feel like that defeats the purpose of adopting. And at that point, you should just have your own baby. You're just kind of, in essence, skipping the pregnancy part and just putting that on someone else at that point. Not really. And then you can already do that with your like, own it's DNA. It's a situation so that she can find where she literally can just run into that situation where a mother can't keep her uh, child. But then you got to think about uh, most of the population, if you look up things like that, the most population is basically parents not able to keep them because they eat yeah. on drugs or domestic violence reasons. Now, yeah. you got to think about if the child three, four, five, six, seven years old and you being your girlfriend, which is the mother, which you think you're going to be mentally messed up in the head. So you going to Jerry house, you dropping this baby off, the baby trying to get to know you, but the baby already stuck in his mindset of getting your ass whoop is fine, get, talking shit is fine, cussing and listening to music is fine. You're not their real parent and they already noticed that. So if you're not their real parent, what makes you think they're going to really listen to you? You can't put, you can't beat them kids. You can't put your hands on them kids. You can't do any of that. But to an extent, it's one case. I mean, I have, my mom's friend adopted her son Deontay. He had some stuck in ways because they adopted him when he was eight. And I mean, there was a little lot of little weird kinks they had to get out of him. Even to this day, you know, he's still kind of like, I want to say prone not to listen and do his own thing. But it's well, still the case of like he's I a really did, good kid now, you know. Went off to college and some more shit. And then I didn't like most of the kids that like I didn't do my research on them. I didn't do my background of. That's the reason why I know the stuff I know. Then I know yeah. people that works in that field. So it's just like it's your pros and cons. You, you can get a child that you know is willing to listen, but once again, it still comes with other stuff. That child decides to want to raise. That's on you. That's your responsibility. That shit that you gotta you gotta worry about. It's pros and cons to certain stuff when it comes down to all that. So I rather have someone that can't keep their child. And get the mother <laughs> fresh born where he thinks and where he I'm, really got, he, got it in his brain already, that you're a mother. I'm his mother instead of yeah. comparing to a child that's far and you're not my mama. You can't tell me what to do. It's like the whole thing about going to the hospital for premature babies because they gotta hear your heart, your heartbeat. And that's crazy because I didn't know that. I just found that out. 
I didn't know premature babies have to have the parent there constantly just to hear their heartbeat. Mm-hmm. To feed off. That's fucking crazy. Like, that's, that's fucking that, insane. Though. No seasoning on this. Food. She got her Apple Watch and she got her the Apple earphones today. Yeah, there you go with me. The Apple Pods. This <laughs> the video. Oh, uh, God damn. Ooh, wee. I couldn't even get off the woo wee. I caught a cramp in my heart. God damn. Yeah, she got the Series 5 uh, Apple Watch and she got the earphones to go with it. I'm going to give her the earphones and the song for some. Ooh wee! And some socks and some drawers for Christmas. And that's her. Ooh. There's her Christmas gift. Woo! I hit that in a minute. That's, that's how that, that's how that is. What the fuck are y'all on? No, like literally what we just did. That's how that expresses that, right? But dude, I'm not saying niggas is material, but I I wouldn't know what the fuck to do there. Um, all in my Snapchat, like I just got a new tattoo. Like, yeah. I'm retarded. Nigga, what kind of apps I can put on this bitch? Oh, no, I'm like for real, <laughs> man. Damn, I can watch porn. No! Watch porn from the wrist. Yes. That's the watch I got here. Oh shit, all black too. Damn. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be the white one. Uh oh, it's the forty-four minute for me. That nigga gonna text me while she in the store. Like, should I get her the smaller one? I'm like, size <laughs> doesn't matter. At this point. Damn, this is. Oh, I mean, no, I but see. no, but did you hear me? I, uh, yeah, size I does not matter at this point. I texted like, I was like, should I get her in the regular size or should I get her in the bigger size? So the smaller one was a little bit smaller. And then he was like, size don't matter. I was just like, man, just give me the big one. Fuck it. And she do what I meant. We was laughing and shit. I like the casing around it uh-huh. versus the ones that are just kind of like all smooth yeah, yeah, yeah. with the edge glass. like. Yeah, she got that one. It's a smaller one on the side of that. But yeah, that's what she got for uh, Christmas. Music. But she don't know about the AirPods, though. I couldn't hold, uh, yeah, I couldn't hold on. She was about to hit all of it right now. Jerry was like, no, just try to give a second. No, you already, you already made it pretty loose. That was good. And so I gave her the watch, and she's going to get the time for her soap and the AirPods and the socks and her drawers on Christmas. Mm-hmm. That's the last thing she's getting fucking from me. The fact that you're getting her some drawers, too. Oh, the nigga, did you hear the soap? No, it's just like you, you getting you get you getting stuff that a nigga gonna actually use on top of it being the shit a nigga won't, and it's like <laughs> yeah, she not getting shit else from me. I didn't like. Nigga, I ain't got I ain't... no new drawers in like two years. Like, I mean, I don't I females get drawers a lot more often, but if nigga, like my bro just bought me some drawers, nigga, that must be my new favorite pair. You getting fucked in these tonight? That's just how I personally feel about it. Everybody got their own, but I'm not worrying about the check. I was going to do it anyway just because I know how the foster care system is. That made me think a, a lot more deeper on having a child now. Like, I got to be really ready. Because, <laughs> damn. Shit, because when I went to foster care, a lot care, of bondage. Shit, when I went to foster care, they tried to send me to this lady house, and I told them the same thing. You was not my mama. You can't tell me what to do. And I want you to put your hands on me because when the lady come on, I'm going to tell her. I'm saying this at seven years old, so I can already, I can already think about. But one, my mama not even, do, yeah, yeah, my mama not even doing nothing. It's, it was my auntie that started the whole shit that had me going to foster care because saying. she wanted me. But more of the story is like, I was like that. You know my mama like, I'm not in this because my mama didn't got her ass well. I'm not in this because my mama on drugs. I'm in here on some whole family gun shit, and I don't want to be here. And you're not about to tell me what I can and cannot do. But I'm still saying that there is a lot of kids lost in the system. Who are looking for some genuine parents who give a fuck about them? Yeah, but that's why you do the interview. To find them. But yeah, I'm but saying my preference. But I'm saying my them. preference will be a newborn. But if they tell me, oh, you're not able to do a newborn, what would you prefer? I want to meet somebody that's going to be loving. That you're going to be. Big. I can bring it to my home. Like at the end of the day, you still bring it up somebody else's child. Whether you're going to adopt them or you're going to, so they're going to just be in your home until the family get their stuff together. I'm still just saying this is just pregnancy with extra steps. And, and who I'm having a kid by? 
I'm just debating with you. I'm not actually like getting it hard. I just want to know. You and Terry can actually have a thing where they'll take the DNA out of both of y'all eggs. And then, like, y'all gotta find a suitable male who y'all can kind of gain and pass with that. And after they put y'all heads together. Y'all know how much together. that is, right? Yeah, a couple yep. of G's. Yep. Oh, okay, so y'all know that's about, I think when I looked it up, it's about 10 G's. Y'all gonna provide that to us. Upwards. Huh, 10 rich. G's is just for y'all procedure. We're not talking about his procedure hey, and medical yeah. expenses. Mm-hmm. Adopt. That's why I'm just here to fuck Oh, you here. know what? Until I get my, my, you know what? I will be able to do that once I get my wash house. You would actually you go through and do some shit like that? Oh, once you get the wash house, my bad. I'm so, I'm so stupid. You can get Jerry's DNA, get your DNA, put it together. You hold the baby, boom. You got a big ass little family going. Oh, what? Make them the goddamn. I'm not that fucking hard now. No. What? Oh, Jerry got some good DNA. Okay, I didn't ever say that, but you forgot to say I'll have to go through the other parent also. Blank this out of your head. And you've never heard it from me, but she actually talked to me about that. I know y'all remember you telling me. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. My she, was, she was telling me. she Because she was like, she wouldn't want Marquis to do it. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't got any, you I'm that. actually honored. I mean, that'd be nice. You don't got any negative features or anything? I'm like, I would actually be honored. Been, and still take the proud road of probably still uncle yeah that's super granddaddy fucking retard <laughs> let the child find out when they get older had a little moment and let them just be that you're shit. technically my dad but you're shit. not really my dad let that, still hit, my dad. let that nigga hit 30 or something and be like wait a minute what? I kind of look I'm like him <laughs> is this why you know the picture? It's gonna be that Bernie back moment when he was on the plane on uh, that episode when he found out his his uncle was his dad. Literally, oh, it's gonna be that. Literally, that's actually the case. Yeah, that nigga people. found out on the plane his uncle was his dad, and I was like, yeah, that that yeah, that got me a little bit. Though. I was like, goddamn. I wouldn't feel comfortable skiing in the jar, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> and that's how they said I would be the one that's carrying. My um, basically my cousin was a stud. I've had two stud cousins carry kids. Terry ain't carrying shit. She ain't let that be known. They really dug that shit up. She said she ain't not carrying out one goddamn child, so don't ask. She said you got it. She was a child on me. But if I really want kids, the adoption would be my way. You're very like chunky light skin baby mm-hmm. if that if it did no, happen like that I'd be a really chunky like light skin baby big ass cheeks but like mm-hmm. what a bunch of hair ah oh, she come out like Portia <laughs> yep you ain't met my homegirl Portia she like a 6'3 real big Amazonian thick bitch like at least 250 but it all went to the right places like beautiful woman Colored eyes? Really? My baby ain't gonna know what to do. My baby gonna just be a nice cute little white baby. No, nah, that's like when you meet them cute bitches with the green eyes. They don't be shit at the end of the day, so I know my baby won't be shit. Hey, mama ain't shit. You already just said my baby ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> my baby ain't gonna be shit. My baby gonna be a football player or a basketball. Whatever sports my baby wanna do, my baby gonna do. Put them in like a dumb sport like tennis. Lacrosse. No. I'll put my baby in basketball. Swimming. Okay, swimming, yeah. That actually would be a strong ass sport for a black person. That's, no, that's a strong ass sport. That's a very athletic child. That's as strong as having a tennis player all the time. Yeah, my baby will player. always be in some type of activity. People be sleep on that tennis, but tennis is some real shit. Because I'm going to have Terry teach my baby drums. My baby gonna drums. Niggas my baby be sleep on golf. Shit. My best friend plays, my stud best friend plays golf. I have my baby learn golf. That's what Mr. Kev said. We should learn how to play she golf. Go pro, she go pro Mr. Kev. Kev. Because he say, the people you meet playing golf, you'll never meet ever in real life. But they'll talk to you because you're playing golf. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. And I thought about all the old white men with money. Yeah. That's just I'm going to make that shit. Yeah. 
don't like know eggnog. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. No, what is it? It took me a while. You don't know what eggnog is? You talking about what's inside the egg? What the fuck? Jerry, yeah, it's actually pretty common for people not to know what eggnog is. I don't know. If I ain't never had it growing up, then no, I don't know what the fuck it is. You ain't never heard of it in movies, nothing? I don't know. I don't eat the shit, drink the shit, no. I mean, you wouldn't have to. You haven't heard it in Christmas. It's like a Christmas time milk drink. Yeah. And that's all it is. Isn't it orange? In no, it's not orange. It oh, looks... I have to try it. Did I just, just said I hope you don't That's what I'm saying, man. Damn. It looks like milk, but it's it's eggnog. It's damn, that's crazy. I'm lactose intolerant, so it's it's not it's not. Well, no, milk. It, it, it is it is milk. It is. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, I'm lactose. That's why I come in that card like this. It's, it's it's lactose intolerant. Eggnog. I'm good. I pass. It's really good. Just try it. 